Hello there my friends, hope you all are having a fantastic day right now. In this video, we shall be building a voice chat application using Python. So, let's get started. What we are going to be doing in this video is that we will write the code for the server and the client and we will run the server code on an AWS instance so that we can handle interactions between clients over the internet. So, first we will start off by writing the server application. So, let me create a new python file called voice chat server and another one called voice chat client. So, these are our client and server applications and first let's start off with the server. So, since we will be dealing with audio in this video, we shall be using a module called Pi Audio, and you can install it easily using pip and if for some reason you get an error while installing it, make sure that you install pip win if you are on windows and then use pip win install Pi Audio, and it should work. So having said that, let's get started. So again, we are going to be using sockets and threads. So first we will import socket. It's ready and we wouldn't need pi audio for the server application so i'm not going to import it so let's start off by setting the port and the host in this case the host is going to be 0 .0 0.0.0.0 and that is because we want to listen to all the connections from all over the internet and not just the computer that we are working on and now we can create an instance of the socket so i'm going to call it server socket dot socket and now we can go ahead and bind the server socket to that port just like that and that's it so in this application we will be dealing with a lot of users and not just between two users and we will be listening to five connections simultaneously and this can be any number but for the sake of simplicity let's have the maximum as five and once we have done that we can go ahead and start accepting connections but before that we would have to create an empty list to keep track of the different clients that are connecting to our server so initially this list is empty and when the users join the server then they are going to be added into this list so for that let's define a function called start and once start is called, the connections start getting accepted. So server.accept would be the function that we'll use and it returns the connection and the address which we'll store in these two variables. And once we've got that, we can go ahead and append the connection to our client list. Sorry, this is connection. So at this point, we have just accepted the connection, but we have to define how we are going to transfer the data. And for that, we will be using threads, obviously. So let's first create a thread called T. And this T is going to call a function called send, which we will be defining later in this video. So T equals threading dot thread, target equals send, and args equals connection. So this is the function that we are going to be defining later and the arguments that we are going to pass to this function is the connection that is the connection from where data is to be sent to the other clients and once we have done that we can go ahead and start the thread and it's important that we wrap it inside a while loop which is an infinite one so that we keep accepting connections whenever they come and now let's define our send function so the send and one argument that is the from connection and inside send what we are going to do is we are going to transfer the data from the from connection to the others in this list so from connection dot receive 4096 once we've got the data we can transfer it to the other clients so for cl in client cl dot send data so 
the data is just going to go to all the clients. So the data that we are talking about here is not text or anything, but it's audio data and the audio will be played on the client side. So that's how this program is going to work. So now we will have to make a couple of changes here. And the first one is that here, instead of sending to all the clients, we will just send to the clients that are not same as the from connection because you don't want to hear your own voice, right? So that makes sense. So that's what we're going to be doing. So if CL not equal to from connection and only then we are going to send this data. And obviously this is going to be in an infinite while loop as well. So yep. Now that we've got it, another change that we would want to do is put this whole thing in a try except block since when a client unexpectedly disconnects from the server, we don't end up with the big red stack trace in the program and try except and in except you can either print a statement something like client disconnected or something and yep that's that. Now all we've got to do is call the start method and when we've called the start method then we can start accepting connections. So that is all about the server application. Now let's go ahead and write the client application. So here I have the client application and it's pretty much the same. We are going to import socket and threading as usual. But here we also need to import pi audio. And yep. So once we have imported the required modules, we can create an instance of the client socket. So I'm going to call it client equals socket dot socket. And we'll obviously have the host and the port. And I'm going to leave the host as it is for now because I don't know what the IP address of the instance that we are going to be launching on AWS is going to be. So we'll fill that later and now we'll just move ahead and specify the port. And now we can connect the host to the port. So just like that. So we will need to open two streams. First, we will need to open the input stream so that we can record the audio and the output stream so that we can play the received audio. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And for that, we will have to create an instance of the Pi audio class of the Pi audio module. So just like that. There are four things we need to specify beforehand. And those four are the format, the chunks, the channels and the rate. So I'll not be explaining or going into detail about what these things are. So first we have the format and that is by audio.pa int 16. And next the chunks will be 1024 times 4 and that is because it specifies the number of frames in the buffer. So that would be 1024 times 4 which is 4096 and next we have the channels and channels is 2 because in each frame there are 2 samples so that's why the channels is 2 and the rate so the rate is the number of samples collected per second so there are 44,100 samples which are collected in one second so that's what these four variables represent and now we can go ahead and open our input stream. So input stream equals p dot open and we're going to set format equals format that is this variable and the next argument is channels which is equal to channels this variable and next the rate equals rate and input equals true because this is the input stream and then frames per buffer and this is chunks and we just copy this and paste it because most of it is the same for the output stream too so output stream equals speed or open and just change this input to output and that's that we have opened the input and the output streams 
So now what we are going to do is write the send and receive function so that we can send and receive the audio. So first we'll write the send function. So def send and data equals the input stream dot read chunks and this just records the audio from your microphone and this is not stream or anything it's stream so yeah now once you've got the data you can use a send function to send the data to the server so client dot send data and that's it and one small change is that we'll again enclose this within a try and accept block so just like that and all of this should be inside a while infinite while loop as well and that's the send function now let's go ahead and write the receive function so def receive when we receive we have to play the audio so what we are going to do is data equals client dot receive chunks and output stream dot write data that's that and we'll again do the same thing try accept and at the infinite while loop so that's the receive function and now all we have got to do is create two threads one for the receive function and one for the send function and we'll be done so t1 equals threading dot thread target equals send threading dot thread target equals receive now all you gotta do is to start the threads so t1 dot start t2 dot start we can join if there is an unexpected disconnection or something like that and we should always remember to close the streams as well so input stream dot stop input stream dot close and the same should be done to the output stream as well so so that is that and we should also terminate the instance that we created and that completes the client application as well and now all you've got to do is create an instance on aws and run our code on the created instance i'll be going through this really quickly because this is something which is really easy to do and it's really easy to launch an instance if you go through the guide provided by aws so a few moments later so yep i've got my instance running and now all i need to do is connect to it and i've also set the security groups to accept all connections from all the computers over the internet this is usually not advisable to do but for the sake of this video to illustrate it's important for me to do that so now let's connect to this instance using a terminal emulator and that is the famous putty a few moments later so here we are i've successfully connected to the server that i just launched and now all you've got to do is import the server.py file and run it here so i guess this comes pre-installed with git so that i can get the code from github so so let's see if it's there and yeah 2.25.1 so git is installed so let me get them So now we have successfully imported our project. We can run the server from here. So let me actually change the directory to chat application. And yep, the directory is changed. And now we have got to run voice chat server dot py. And make sure that you use the command python3. So Yep, so the server is running and now we can test it out on our computers. But before that, 
make sure that you enter your IP. So that's that. And now we can go ahead and test our voice application. So let me open two terminals and and let me actually run the client program on both the terminals so voice chat client dot py and that's running and here too voice chat client dot py so, so, so. So yeah, I'm not sure if you guys heard that, but that actually worked. That echoing is due to the fact that my microphone is picking the audio from the speaker as well. So if you heard that, then that's great, but it actually worked. And yep, yeah, that's that. And this is a really fun thing to do because you have basically built an application like say Discord where you can chat with people as well as talk with them. And this is just Wi-Fi calling, nothing else. Anybody on the planet with the voice chat client.py file can run it and chat with you at the moment. So that's how exciting that is. And that's it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yep. So bye for now guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.